this medal for first place in a spelling contest. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I got this trophy for being the strongest kid in my class. No, wait. Oh, right. Sorry, this one was a trophy for doing the best handstand. I always get those two awards mixed up. I wish I had a trophy. Oh, don't worry, Mia. Maybe when you get a little bigger, you'll win an award for... for... for something. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Uh, Mia? My trophy? Oh, right. Oh, rats. I wish I could win something. Well, you're just in time for the county fair down on the farm. Eddie, Kobe, are you ready? It's time for another adventure. I'll go get the wagon. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. A real county fair has so much cool stuff to see and do. And there's lots of ways to win ribbons and trophies. I'm going to teach these chickens to sing and enter the singing chicken contest. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. <laughs> I'm going to make the best pie ever and win the pie making award. What about you, Kobe? Hmm. I think I might use that old wagon wheel and... Invent an automatic hoof polishing machine. <laughs> Mia, have you decided what you want to do for the county fair? Are you going to make something? Well, I... I'll just... <gasps> Oops. Find something to do with this hook. Hmm. Maybe Tessa will know how to fix this birdhouse. I think she won an award for making birdhouses. No! I can do it all by myself. Here I go, fixing the birdhouse. Making it the biggest, bestest, winningest, uh, award winner. Okay. Well, that just leaves me. <laughs> Good thinking, Mr. Horse. I'll be the judge. I don't need anyone's help. I'm just as good at fixing stuff as they are. Whoa! Well, hey there, Missy. My name's Andy. Hello. My name's Mia. Welcome to my workshop, Mia. Have a seat. That's beautiful. Thank you, Andy. Well, look at there. You're a woodworker, too. Looks like quite a project. It used to be a birdhouse, but I don't know how to fix it or make a new one. Birdhouse? Hmm. Mind if I give it a try? That solved your birdhouse problem? I, uh... I know. It's still a little rough around the edges. No. I mean, it's... Wow. Just a little gift from one carpenter to another. Mmm. Good pie, Tessa. Come on. Sing with me. La, la. 
That is awesome! Double awesome! I, uh, yeah, well, I guess it is. I had no idea you could do this, Mia. Uh, neither did I. Whoa, Mia! It's like a bird palace. It's still a little rough around the edges. Mia, since you're so good at making stuff, maybe you can make me a new go-kart. Oh, well, I... Ooh, you can make us all go-karts! Yeah! yeah. <sighs> and now they all want me to make them new go-karts. I just wanted to show them that I was good at something. It sounds like you didn't happen to mention that you didn't make the birdhouse. I was going to tell them, but they said it was amazing. And I want an award so badly. Well, I think I understand. Reminds me of a little song my daddy sang to me when I still had my baby teeth. <laughs> Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Finding what you're good at's what you got to do. So first you stop by trying, and then when you are through. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't go fretting if someone else knows just what to do. Don't compare yourself to others, just compare yourself to you. Don't compare, Don't compare yourself, yourself to, to others, others, just compare, compare yourself, yourself to, to you. you. Just compare yourself to you. Don't compare yourself to others. Just compare yourself to you. Do 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 do. So you made this birdhouse? Uh huh. Sure did. And you made that birdhouse too? Uh uh. Sure didn't. Andy made that one. Who's Andy? Andy's a beaver who lives near the farm, and he makes stuff out of wood, like the fancy birdhouse. But you said that you made No, you said I made it. And I kind of liked it when you thought I did, even though I should have told the truth. But now I kind of like my birdhouse better because I made it myself. I kind of like it too. Looks like the real birdhouse experts like your house the best. That's because it is the best. Really? As the official county fair judge, I hereby award Mia this first place ribbon for the best broken birdhouse fixing. Thank you. Thank you all for this award. Yay, Mia! You go, Mia! Hey, um, you guys, I have some awards. More awards? What'd you win them for? Oh, I didn't win them. I made them for you guys. And the winner of the Eddie Award is Eddie for being the best Eddie I know. Wow, thank you, Mia. And this one's for you, Sophie, because you're so, so, well, you're just the Sophiest. Aw, thanks, Mia. And this is the Kobe Award. For you, Kobe. Uh, it's just a block of wood. I left it plain because I know you'll invent it into something amazing. This is the Special Tessa Award for Best Ice Skater. But I don't know how to ice skate. Yeah, but if you did ice skate, you'd be good enough to win this award. Wow, Mia, thank you so much. And one more award. This award is for all of us for being the best friend ever. 
but I think I'll keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> From our backyard stage, welcome to our version of Little Bo Peep. Let's hear it for Sophie Bo Peep and Eddie Bo Storyteller. Sophie Bo Peep has lost her dinosaurs. Him, Eddie, it's sheep. Right, sheep. Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I'm so worried I can't even sleep. Where are you, sheep? I'm so sad I might. <gasps> Weep! Poor sleepy and weepy Sophie Bo Peep. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. But our ship comes in pieces. Uh, Tessa, Mia, we're trying to... We are not Tessa and Mia. We are a two-headed alien from a distant planet, and we would like to be, be in, in your, your play. play. Sorry, but there isn't a two-headed alien in Sophie Bo Peep. But we have sneaker hands. There aren't any of those in the story either. What about polka dot feet? Mm, nope. I knew we wouldn't fit in. We are different from Earthlings. We'll just fix our spaceship and go home. Sorry about that. Okay, who wants to see the rest of our play now? <laughs> Oops, wrong sound effect. No, that gives me a great idea. Why don't we go somewhere we can do our play with real sheep? Yes, we'll go to the farm. Hey, want to come to the farm with us? We cannot leave our ship. You must go without us. Okay, see you later. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Okay, you sheep. Let's see who's got what it takes to be in the play. Ba 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 ba. Wonderful. You can be sheep number one. Ba 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 ba. Wow. I think we have our sheep number two. Ba. Not quite what we're looking for. Sorry, um... Simon. Simon, yes. Really good try, though. Hey, guys! King Pigalot is coming to see the show. Really? When? Uh, right now. I have arrived. Now, entertain me! <laughs> Eddie, you're on! Welcome, farm animals, and, uh, your royal pigginess. Well, thank you. <laughs> when the story begins, Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I'm so worried, I can't even sleep. Where are you, sheep? I'm so sad I might... <laughs> so sad I might... <laughs> I might... Might dance, juggle, stand on your head? I love the suspense. I might have to go find my sheep. That's not your line. I think Simon is running away because I might have hurt his feelings. How? I mean, uh, how about we take a short intermission? I told Simon he couldn't be in the show because he doesn't sing very well. I've got to apologize to him. 
keep the show going while I'm gone. But I can't. Sophie Bell Peep has lost her sheep, and she will find him. Oh, I didn't expect that. Very good, very good. What happens next? Next, right, yes. Uh, I know. How about some jokes? Why does a rooster watch TV? Anyone? For entertainment. Haha, <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, was that supposed to be funny? Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Simon! Oh, Simon! Where is my sheep? Answer me, Simon. It's Sophie Bo Peep. Simon, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. So sorry I am. Please, can you talk to me, dear little lamb? All the other sheep sing great. I just wanted to sing with them. But all I can do is... I get it. I know. It's hard when you can't be part of the show. You should go back. The king's waiting. You've got the lead role. Eddie's got everything under control. <laughs> Thanks for trying, Sophie. But I can't sing like the other sheep. My ba-ba's different. Simon, wait! Don't run away. Listen, there's something I want to say. North or south or east or west, we sing this little tune. Earth is different from the sun and different from the moon. I wear a pair of glasses, my glasses help me see. And if I didn't wear them, I'd walk into a tree. My glasses make me different in just one little way. But it's cool they make me different, cause different is okay. I say, and it's cool that we are different, cause different, different is okay. North or south or east or west, we sing this little tune. Earth is different from the sun and different from the moon. We're all a little different. And that is why we say, it's cool that we are different, cause different, different. for you. Come back. I'll show you what to do. So, Sophie Bo Peep has lost her sheep. They're lost in the fog. So thick and so deep. Where are you? Where are you? Can anyone hear? Ba that sounds like Simon. Simon, my dear. Simon, oh Simon. Keep making your wonderful sound. The others will hear and soon be homeward bound. Ba 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 Yay, Simon! You did it! The sheep heard your voice and they found their way home. Oh, bravo! I pronounce this the greatest Bo Peep story ever! Two-headed alien! Are you leaving? Yes, we are going back to our planet where we are not different. But there's always room for different. So will you please be in our play? Okay, nice Earth person. What is the play about? Hmm. Well, what if a two-headed alien lands on Earth? And an Earth guy borrows their spaceship for a spin around the galaxy. Whoops. And then, so 
Sophie Bo Peep goes to play with the two-headed alien while the Earth guy fixes their spaceship. This is an excellent story. <laughs> <laughs> Like in the book. Someone was reading the story? We're making it up from the pictures. We're not sure how to read. <laughs> but look, Sophie's reading. Well, I... Sophie, you know how to read? That's super cool. What happens next? Does Sir Ready Eddie save the day? Read it to us. Come on, Sophie. Oh, okay. Er, the drag... Gun, r r the dragon roared. Then what? Um, the dragon roared. A big, big roar. A huge roar. The biggest, hugest roar ever roared. Great. And then? And then the dragon jumped over the moon on a polka dot pogo stick. A polka dot pogo stick? What happens next? Next? Well, uh, the, um... I have an idea. Let's go on our own dragon adventure. With a castle? And a king? Oh, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah! Let's go! Great idea! Woohoo! And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song gonna be fun. Dragon! Here, dragon, dragon, dragon! Come and get your favorite lunch! A freshly baked Kobe cake. Hey! I thought you were a big, scary dragon. <sighs> Every time I go near my castle, he roars at me. We're looking for a dragon. Excellent. And when you find the dragon, you can scare him away. Wait, you want us to scare away the dragon? <clears throat> Just do what it says in this book. Everything you need to know about scaring dragons is right in here. While you're busy scaring away the dragon, I'll be hiding in this tree. I mean, um, keeping a royal lookout. <laughs> yes. Sophie, start reading. Yes. Please enjoy reading and scaring. <laughs> so what does the book say? Let me see. Yes, it says here that er, dragons are afraid of... 
dragon scared of spiders? Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. It's dragon scaring time! <gasps> Here he comes! It's a wee spider. Are you trying to scare me, wee spider? Because a spider isn't going to frighten a big, scary dragon like me! Rawr! Ah! Looks like dragon scaring time just turned into Eddie scaring time. <laughs> but the book said dragons were scared of spiders. Uh, well... Sometimes a dragon isn't scared of spiders. The meanie McGreeny dragon is scared of, um, er, uh, running noses and, uh, ah, sneezing. Running noses and sneezing? Since when has that been scary? Says it right here. Well, if you read it in the book, it must be true. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe's super runny nose and sneezing powder. My own special mixture of pepper, feathers, and royal pig hair. <laughs> Easy peasy dragon sneezing. Okay, get ready to blow the powder. One, two, three. Huh? <laughs> oh! Ah, that's better. Nothing like a good sneeze to clean the pipes. Ha ha ha! Choo! A choo! A choo! Are you sure you're reading the right instructions? Oh, rats! Look! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I really am going to be a Kobe cake! What do we do now, Sophie? Yeah! What does the book say? Rawr! Rawr! I don't know what the book says. I never did. I don't know how to read. Just a couple of words, but that's it! Why'd you tell us you could? You were all so happy that I could read and I got carried away. And then I didn't want to let you down. I didn't mean to trick you. I'm sorry. You're not the only one who's sorry. <laughs> You're a giraffe? I did not see that coming. I didn't mean to scare you. I just wanted to protect King Pigalot's castle. But he keeps running away, squealing like a frightened pig. That's because dragons are really scary. All I wanted to do was to impress the king. And there's nothing impressive about giraffes. But look how tall you are. That's impressive. And I'm impressed with you, Lassie. Telling the truth to your friends like that made me realize it's better to tell the truth than to pretend to be something you're not. Help! Help! King Pigalot? Oh. <laughs> yes! Can someone help me, please? Hmm. I haven't read this anywhere, but I bet this is a job for a giraffe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. I hereby name this giraffe the new King's Royal Reacher Upper to high places. <laughs> Go giraffe! Oh, hi! Oh, and by the way, we got rid of that dragon for you. Actually, he did. You? Bravo! Let me tell you all about it. Bye -bye. So long! Bye. Hey guys, 
Want to hear a story? But you can't read. Not yet, but I'm learning. And one day, I'm going to write my very own story. What's it going to be about? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a king in a faraway land who had a very good friend, a giraffe. <laughs> Jet Engine Eddie! And Helicopter Kobe! Zoom! 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 Come on, Piggy Piggy Piggy! Roll around in the mud! <laughs> Aw, give us a little oink! <laughs> Good Piggy Piggy Piggy! Want to take a ride with Captain Eddie and co-pilot Kobe? But we're playing farm animals. Farm's no fun compared to flying. But look at our little piggy. Isn't he a little cutie pie? <laughs> Aww. See how much fun our farm animals are? Flying is funner. We're going to the airport. We're not. We're going to the farm. Great idea. Let's have an adventure. <laughs> Kobe and I say airport. Tessa and I say farm. It's two against two. So how are we going to decide? Mia! 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 Here I am. Mia, don't you want to go to the farm? You'd rather go to the airport, right? Uh, what? As the oldest, I say we go to the farm. It's way more fun than the airport. As the awesomest, I say the airport is way more fun than the farm. So you get the deciding vote. For the airport. Farm. Airport. Farm. Well, I... Uh, they both sound, uh, why don't we think of somewhere else to go? Here's nice. But not as fun as the airport. Or the farm. How about we go on the swings? We all love the swings. See how much fun we can have right here in our own backyard? Well, I know where Kobe and I are going. Ziggy, make that music. Two, three, four! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Having more fun. Oh, yeah? Well, out fun, you! When did fun turn into a contest? Okay, Eddie, so what's the plan? We'll fly around the farm and show Sophie how much fun we're having. It's gonna be great! Time to buckle up! Ready, Eddie, go! Moo, moo. Here and a 
Moo, moo. There, here, moo. There, moo. Everywhere, moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. farm. E-I-E-I-O. Flying spawn, the fun is fun. It's so much fun. It's number one. More than any farmyard fun, the funnest fun you've ever done. Fun, fun. To outer space, but you won't win the funniest race Cause farmyard fun is in first place Fun, 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 fun Fun, 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 fun Sure is hard work. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got a dusty view. I can't see a thing. It's true. The conga lines are unchewed. <laughs> you ruined our fun with your flying. Yeah? Well, you ruined our fun with your dust. If we all just came to the farm in the first place, or the airport, farm! Airport! Uh, guys, isn't this how we got into this mess in the first place? <laughs> I guess we did get a little, uh, messy. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry I got carried away with all that fiddling. And I'm sorry we tried to outfun you. Wanna play in the backyard? Together? Together. Round and 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 fall to the ground. That was fun. Now it's your turn to pick out what to do. I can do that. That cloud looks like a butterfly. Oh, and that one looks like a bunny. And that one looks like Eddie. Hey guys, 
how was your, um, fun? It wasn't. Yeah, it's no fun when you're trying to outfun your friends. Well, we were having fun looking at the clouds. Doesn't that one look like a bunny? <laughs> nah, that's a dinosaur. Or maybe it's a great big bat. No way! That's a hippopotamus! I think it looks like a kangaroo, and it's looking for a bunny, a dinosaur, and a hippo to have fun with. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tag me, octopus. I'll tag you both with my octopus arms, my fine little fishies. Come swim past me, if you can. Gotcha. My turn. I want to be the octopus. I tagged you both, so I get to choose. And I choose me. Octopus tag, yay! Can't catch this fish, octopus. <laughs> Come on, Kobe, octopus tag. Can't, I'm trying to fix the music. Don't fix it, make it louder. <laughs> Ran the octopus. Gotcha. No one outruns the octopus. Now swim along, little fishies. One, two. When do three, I get to be the four. octopus? In a minute. One, two. I bet it would be more three, fun if we all played against an four, octopus. Five, hey, why don't we play six, octopus tag with the real seven, octopus? Three, yeah, that would be awesome. Ten. Hmm. Fixed it. Just in time. We're going on an adventure to find a real octopus to play tag with. Hit it, Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And we're extra so excited. So here we go. Adventure ho. And everyone is <laughs> I've got to fix this thing again. You guys go without me. You sure, Kobe? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, and everyone invited! <laughs> Ahoy! Any sign of a friendly octopus? Whoa! There he is! On a big blinking sign! He's pointing that way! Oh, oh, can I see? In a minute! Is it a minute yet? Another sign! Ooh! Now the octopus is playing with the ball! Tessa! It's been like a million minutes. When can I see? In a minute. Sophie, Tess is totally hogging the telescope. The octopus looks super fun. Can we see? In a minute. Oh, rats. I'll never get a turn. It's another octopus sign. A really big one. And he's waving. And he's pointing. At an island, and it's got the coolest looking playground ever. Can, Can we, we see? In a minute. Double rats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. A jungle gym. Cool. Oh, boy, a seesaw. Hooray, beach ball. Awesome.
Welcome, mateys! Visitors! Excellent! Hello! Wow! Hi! Hi. Hi. Welcome to Octofun Island! <gasps> Shall we have Octofun? Yes! Let's! How about octopus tag? I'll be... Great! Yes! Octopus tag! I'll be the octopus! One, two, three, go! I win! I win! <laughs> Can I be the octopus now? In a minute! First, one, two, three, go! <gasps> I win again! I win again! I think it's time for a new game. <laughs> yeah. hey! hey! I win! But we're not playing tag anymore. Oops! Right! So sorry. When's our turn? In a minute. Do, 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 do. Yeah. In a minute. Where have I heard that before? Here it comes. <laughs> I got it. It's mine. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. Do, 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 do. Hey, can we finish our game? In a minute. Always in a minute. In a minute. In a... Oh. That does sound kind of familiar. Uh-huh. Like me, playing octopus tag. Uh-huh. And when I wouldn't share the telescope. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to make it up to you. You invite new friends to visit and tell them, hey, let's play. So you show them all your really cool stuff, but then take it away and say... In a minute, you can play with my stuff in a minute. But that minute's never through, and it's only fun for Shellfish? No! Selfish! Yes, right. Selfish! Terribly sorry. I should work on that. In a minute. <laughs> we oh. yeah. oh. we'll try to help him, Tessa. Well, maybe one day he'll learn to share. Just like I did. Hey, who wants the telescope? I do. I want the telescope. I want to go next. Toby? So, did you get the band working? No, not yet. Greetings, excellent Earthlings. Hello, strange alien person creature with two heads. We were drawn to your planet by your beautiful music. You like this weird music? It is our favorite song from home. We like to sing it. Together, shall we? Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop, bleep, 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 bleep. Thank you, thank you very much. 
Did you not enjoy our performance? Magical maker of beautiful music. Sorry. Yeah, it was great. It's just, I've been trying to fix this, but I need one more piece of wire. Since you have shared your music with us, we will share part of us with you. Please take wire connecting our brains. Gosh, thanks. stage, it's Magnificent Mia and her sensational circus! Hooray, hooray! Oh boy, can't wait! For our first amazing act, the amazing Benini will fly through the air while doing a triple tumble. <laughs> Juggling act ever, Zebra and the Bear. This is juggling Tessa style. <laughs> wow, Tessa's really good. Amazing is more like it. Tessa, I'm doing my circus. Just trying to help out. I love the circus. I'm a really good juggler. I can see. The circus is so much fun. You've been to the circus? Lots of times. I know all the moves. I want to go to the circus. I want to be in the circus. Me too. How about we go to the circus and put on a circus show? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mia, can I wear the ringmaster hat? Well, I guess so. Ziggy. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Circus closed a long time ago. I'm just here keeping an eye on things. That's okay. We didn't come here to see the circus. We want to be in the circus. Oh, putting on a show, are you? Hey, that's great. Tell you what, you go right on in and leave the rest to me. <laughs> to put on the best circus ever! Tessa style! Mia, you're on the unicycle! It's easy to ride, only half as hard as a bike. You can do this! Eddie, this is for you! Now, just dance on top of it while it rolls around. Get on the ball, Eddie. You can do this. Kobe. Did I 
do that right? They're juggling moves for juggling. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Uh, it's lunchtime? You're going to be our star plate spinner. Balance plate on pole, spin plate. Easy! You can do this! Okay, circus performers, let's practice! 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 That's right, you heard me. There's going to be a circus, and everyone's invited. This way to the circus, folks. Just follow me. <laughs> guys, guys, yeah. guys! <laughs> Don't you want to put on the best show ever? We were just having fun. This is circus time, not clown around time. Well, that's it, folks. Step right in. Plenty of room for everyone. Great. Here comes the audience. I guess I'm going to have to do this all by myself. Tessa, Wait a minute. we can help, help you. you. No, forget it. <sighs> you can do this. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, animals of all ages, welcome to Tessa's One Ring Circus. <laughs> We've got a great show for you. I mean, I've got a great show for you. I mean, I, uh... I guess it's just going to be me today. Aw, oh, too bad. Too bad. It's just me, all alone in the spot. And I'm really not feeling so hot. Just me, the one, the only. Missing my pals, kinda lonely. There are things more important than getting your way. Like telling charge for now. I think today we should have Mia's dance party. But I don't know what to do. Maybe your animal friends can help. 
Thanks, Tessa. You don't need a lot of hair to dance like a teddy bear. Just give the arms a tug and hug, hug, hug. Then you move your feet to the dancing bear beat. And you hold your arms up high and wave a bear goodbye. That's how you dance like a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you dance like a teddy bear. Somebody please and freeze me? I really have to scratch my nose. Why doesn't anyone want to play Princess Mia? You're next. Come back, Tessa. <laughs> no, sir. Uh-uh. Gotcha, Mia. I'm not playing freeze tag. Princess Mia is way better. Eddie, playing Princess Mia is... Scratch my nose. Scratch my nose. In Princess Mia, we all go to the funnest place in the entire world. Ah, uh, yeah. Sounds great, Mia. <laughs> yeah. In my game, there's a big castle. Castles are cool, but I'm frozen. And there's a bird on my head. <laughs> Come back, Tessa! <laughs> in Princess Mia's funnest place in the entire world, there are rides. Did you say rides? Is there a carousel? Definitely. With the fastest ponies you've ever seen. Does it have a big balloon ride? Bigger than biggest. Are there fairy tale characters? Uh-huh. Awesome! Yeah! Let's go! Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, where's the music? Um, a little help. Oops. I'll unfreeze you, Kobe. There. Thanks, Tessa. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Welcome to the funnest place in the entire world. I'm Humpty Dumpty, and I'll be your tour guide today. And I'm the Gingerbread Woman. We're here to make sure you have the best... T -t 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 Tiara! She's the princess! Your, your majesty. majesty! Thank you. You can call me Princess Mia. Princess? princess. You and your loyal subjects are most royally welcome here. We're Mia's loyal subjects? Whoa, look at that trampoline! Let's go bounce! Ahem. Only the princess can give the royal command to start bouncing. We may now go and play. Your wish is our command. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> Wee, <laughs> look at me. We've been looking at you, Mia, for about two zillion hours. Think someone else can have a turn? The princess is almost done. Wow. Beautiful bouncing, your highness. On to the carousel. Finally! 
The princess has left. Bouncing time is officially over! What? That's not fair. Isn't this fun? Come on, you guys! I guess Mia wants her loyal subjects to follow her. <laughs> faster, Orsi! Faster! <laughs> Every inch a princess. I could watch her all day. I think we already have. Okay, bored now. I'm feeling... Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty? Majesty. <gasps> Balloonish! Come along now. You heard what the princess said. Oh, this is oh, not fun. Boring. I guess we can forget about the carousel. Yeah, Yay! but the balloon ride is going to be fun. <laughs> you mean it would have been fun. Woohoo! My kingdom is so beautiful. You should see the view from up here. Anyone else get the feeling the funnest place in the entire world is only fun for Princess Mia? <laughs> Ooh, perfect princess landing, your majesty. Where'd everybody go? Over there, playing some silly game. <laughs> You're not getting me no, again. You get me, I got you. Clearly, they don't know how to behave around a princess. They should be honored to watch you having fun, especially when you do it so well. I am pretty good at it, aren't I? To the throne room. You know what this place is perfect for? Hide and seek. Excellent. I'll count to ten and you hide. Where would you like us to hide, Your Majesty? Anywhere. But where would it please you to have us hide? If I know where you're hiding, it'll be too easy for me to find you. And then you'll win. Hooray for Princess Mia. Just hide! One, two, three... I'm hiding over here, Your Highness! <sighs> uh, um, I'm hiding behind the curtains now, Your Majesty. And I'm still hiding behind your throne! This isn't any fun. Let's do something else. Ooh, something else is a wonderful idea! But what else? <laughs> You're frozen! <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'm not frozen. I'm frozen. I'm gonna freeze you. How about freeze tag? Brilliant! Gotcha! gotcha. You're, you're frozen. frozen. You, you win, win, Princess Mia. Mia. Do you guys even know how to play? It's no fun if you keep letting me win. Come with me. <sighs> yes, Princess Mia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'd like to say something. No music! Yes, Your Majesty. What does Your Royal Highness want? I'm sorry for being all princessy and stuff. Anything you guys want to play is all right with me. Anything in the whole world. Well, we were about to play jump rope. That sounds fun! One, two, buckle my shoe! Three, four, knock on the door! Uh, 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 I don't know what to do, Your Majesty. Jump in, it's fun. And call me Mia. Uh, five, six, pick up sticks! <laughs> Seven, eight, lay them straight! Right, Mia. It is more fun for everyone to play together. I'm glad we finally figured that out. Now this really is the funnest place in the world. <laughs> it's time for me. Where's Mia? Here I am. Instead of me making up a fairy tale, let's all make up a story together. Great! Cool. I'll start. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Your turn, Sophie. And, um, 
there was a horrible, terrible, fire-breathing dragon. Kobe? Rawr! Eddie? A brave and very handsome knight came to save the princess. Tessa? But the princess didn't need saving because all the dragon wanted was to roast a giant marshmallow. Sophie? How about a little heat, Mr. Dragon? Roar! That's awesome! The handsome knight loves roasted marshmallows. Yeah! Me too! Give me some. Mm, yum. Mm, Looks my good. My favorite. And we all lived happily ever after. Marshmallow tag! I <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when I say three, ready? One. Two, three. Hey guys, what you doing? Playing a game for big kids. Can I play? You can try, but you might be too little. Yeah, we're seeing who can jump up and hang from the monkey bar the longest. And you've got to be super strong. Or half orangutan. Are you part orangutan? I don't think so, but I can pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, peasy, Kobe, squeezy. Well, okay, but don't blame me if your arms fall off. I won't. Okay, ready? One, two, three! You're right, this is hard. <laughs> Maybe she is half orangutan. What's for snack, Sophie? Jelly. Is that all? Yeah, she found it in the sandbox. Like treasure. Wait! Hey! You can't eat that. Why not? We don't know where it's been. Sure we do. In the sandbox. But it's all dirty. And there's nothing to spread it on. We've got our fingers. And our tongues. Yeah, that's yucky. But it's all we've got for our picnic. Picnic? Why didn't you say so? I love picnics. What a perfectly picnicky idea. But not here. Let's go out into the country. I love the countryside. Let's go! Me too! Yeah! I think I know just the spot. We're gonna stay and um keep an eye on the jelly. <laughs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure, and you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Most definitely eat here. Just smell all that countryness. Ah. Well, I guess it's okay. What do you mean, okay? It's beautiful! Look at all the pretty flowers! Well, they're pretty, but they're sort of yucky, too. They're not in lines, or rows, or anything. But look at all the butterflies. They're so colorful. They're all right, I guess. There's just not very many of them, are there? Okay, if you don't like it here, we can find someplace else. There must be zillions of nice places around here. Just what I was thinking. Look, rainbow sheep. They're so 
pretty. Let's eat. I'm hungry as a wolf. <laughs> oh, Fooey. What's the matter, Emma? My dress. It's all muddy. Where? I can't see anything. Here. Oh, it's ruined. That? It's just a little speck. But what about the grass? Um, what about the grass? Don't you think it's a bit too pointy? Too pointy? How can grass be too pointy? Ah. Careful, Eddie. Oh, with all the mud and pointy grass, it's just too yucky here. Hmm, this place isn't good enough either. Do you want us to find another picnic spot instead? Good thinking, Sophie. Come on! <sighs> How about over there? Hmm. Well, okay. Let's try it. Really? Sure, I'm not picky. Here will be just fine. Perfect. Well, almost. I'm starving. Let's eat. Hmm. What, what now? now? Listen. Isn't it sweet? Oh, it is sweet. It could just be sweeter, that's all. You're a little off key, little bird. Good luck, little bird. <gasps> what is it, Eddie? Um, the blanket. Wouldn't it be even more perfect over there? You know, you're right. Guys, look! <gasps> oh, no! Ew, it's so slimy and slippery. If Emma sees that snail, she'll never want to have a picnic. You're right. And I'm going to eat my shirt if we have to move again. Well, what are we going to do? I'm not touching it. I know. Just keep Emma distracted. What are you going to do, Eddie? Leave it to me. The blanket's a little bumpy. We'll help. Sorry. This picnic is by invitation only. <gasps> hmm. It might be better. Just over... No! Mm-hmm. Actually, you're right. Sophie? Oh, just a flower. It blew into your hair. Oh, really? No! no! I'll get it. Can I see it? Um, well... Oh, it must have blown away. Never mind. I think we're just about ready to eat. <gasps> I just love snails. You do? Of course. They're so cute. They are? Sure. Look at their little shell houses. They're perfect little campers. My gosh. We've been trying to hide it. We thought you might think that it's all slimy and yucky. Yucky? But I love the trails that they leave. So shiny and sparkly. Now, Miss Snail, you can sit next to me as our guest of honor. Can I have a sandwich now? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Silly. Finally. Mm. Mm. So good. Wow. Much better. Jack, not again. 
But there's still some in the bottom. I can't get any jelly for me now. Eddie, can you help pull it off? I could try, but Mia's way stronger. She is? Yeah, I'm half orangutan. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. And I'm welcome to this last little bit of jelly. If I can just get this last itty bitty... Ugh. Oh, rats. <laughs> Phew. We may be little, but our show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air. Together. Yeah! Wow! Great! Our secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can 